Okay, I'm back today, and I am going to do my Persians to show you what kind of gear I use, and what kind of units I like, and what I think is good, and what I think is bad about the civilization. We will start with my technology first. As you can see, I have pretty much all of my um, storehouse upgraded. Um, wood, gold, food. Persia is one of those um, civilizations that is high, high in food, especially the cataphrats. Um, those suckers can take um, easily 200 food, um, 121 gold per unit when you have them geared like I do, and I'll show you. Um, one thing about Persia's walls is they're not the strongest, but if you have the Star Tech, they build pretty quick. I didn't upgrade anything in the fishing area because Persians don't have any bonuses like the Greek and like um, the Egyptians. So what you see is what you get. Ram ships can be pretty fun though in pirates, and I will show you what I have on them in a second. With all my civilizations, the town center is completely upgraded. And going to military, this is my standard, what I use. Now, Sparrows are one of my favorite units. They are a meat shield from hell. They can take abuse all day long um, with the best health gear out there, um, besides, of course, Legend, Greaves. Um, because I have Ramses, which we all know is better, that the DPS for them with the H4 advisor for 4 more percent is only 39. Um, I suggest you get health gear for him. As I said, he's not meant to give abuse. He's meant to take it. One thing I do like about their spearmen is the cavalry bonus damage. If you do decide to use them, they're actually pretty good, pretty good against cavalry. Um, better than the Greeks, better than um, Egyptians, but I still think the best pikemen in the game has to be the Celtic. Um, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I slipped. Celtic. Yes, I already got called out on that once. So he's probably laughing his butt off on that now. But anyways, we'll move on. Unlike um, Greek, the star points only affect the bowmen and the other units. It only affects, affects them, not the whole group, which is sad. Um, but this is not the only civilization that does that, I don't believe. Um, cataphracts are extremely, extremely powerful unit. Um, if you're going to be self Celt, there we go again, Choose Calvary over anything, um, or the Immortals. Between the two, you really can't go wrong. Um, some people like range, which I love range, but when I play with Persia, I like to keep, like to mix it up some with the speed from the Calvary and the Immortals being able to do ragged, not the greatest range. But once troops come up on your front line, um, those front line go melee or shooting the rest. Unlike like other units that are all melee, they have to stand there with their thumbs up their ass and do nothing. Or they have to go around and around and around. With morals, the front line gets hit, but everybody can attack. War wagons. Um, until the patch recently, I considered a useless unit. Uh, me and Safe Base tested them out when Persia first came out, and they were garbage. They just did not have enough range. Um, but with the new bow, there's a video out there that I put out there that you will see that you can outrange forts with the new bow. I mean, that extra 21% plus with this. Um, extra 20%. You, it, it's second longest weapon in the game behind the Paladin, of course. 
What would be nice is if the if TMO could work with them. Down to utility, as everything, all my utilities will always have a full armory. My co-op gives me shit about it. Um, the full market. Um, the fort and the tower is fully teched. Um, when, now, when it comes to the War Academy, at the very least, what you want is the one that I have here, this shield wall. 20% um, more health, but 300% more um, siege armor for your Spara. And when you are a meat shield, you can have um, ballistas hit them all day long. I did the Elite in Crete when it first came out after the patch with ballistas at, you know, frickin' 10,000 hit points hitting them and I held out for a very long time. My partner just couldn't kill them. You know, I only can make them so fast, which this here also helps. Train time, 30%, which is a huge increase. Now these other ones I really never got into, um, but that's what I have for my technology. Let's skip to advisors real quick. As you see, um, not many. <laughs> um, I, these are the only three that I'd ever use so far. I, I did, what I did besides with the Greeks is level up my civilizations to 40, figure out what each of them could use and benefit the most, and just get those and not get every one in the game. Um, this guy actually does help a little bit with your Sparas, because they can take a lot of abuse and a lot of damage. Um, more health regenerate can help, even though you have it on your tree, it does stack. So that that is actually very useful if you're going to do a meat shield type, excuse me, meat shield type strategy. Um, he's very good for you. Or you could do 15 percent village elder. Um, of course, cheaper aging fortresses which I'll show you some lost gear for the fortresses here in a minute. Um, something else also used because your cavalry is so expensive. She's useful. And then, uh, I don't have it for the civilization, but the cheaper farms too. Um, one unit that is actually very good, very cheap, very quick to make, um, crappy range, good DPS, dies easy, but I think it's, it's every seven seconds you can pop one out from your fort. Very useful, actually. Um, he can get you through any of the recaps just fine. He could probably beat um, the normal uh, Papos and Soli. I don't know about Marion. Um, but legendaries, he just dies in one hit, and there's just so much wood you'd have to replace him with. Okay, everything else is uh, self-explanatory. Everybody knows what that stuff is. Well, I'll we'll start uh, my spars. As I said, I do health armor, and right here is the spear for it, and of course the shield. Now, the vest, that's not the best vest. You know, it does have 33% infantry armor. I want the other one that has bonus damage armor. I think it would benefit me more, um, but I can't seem to get my hands on it at this time. And of course, Ramses would go in this slot, which is further down on a different unit. Pikeman just threw in some stuff. Haven't really okay, played with them yet. are the most fun unit in the game, by far. Um, give you an example of reason why 
you know how frustrating it is when you get a hundred um, melee units all attacking something and only so many can hit them because they're grouped around them and your 12 guys are hitting a little group of units and the rest are around just standing there. It's one reason why a lot of people like ragged units is because they all shoot no matter what as long as they're in range. But the morals of your guys get hit in the front line, the rest of them behind are still shooting them with arrows. So you get the best of both worlds with this unit. Um, but the bad thing is, is that it costs wood, food, and gold. Um, I think it is 40 food, 30 gold, 20 wood. Or it is uh, 40 gold, 30 food, 20 wood. It's one of the two. Um, but whatever you do, make sure you get legendary arrows here with the range because if you have a huge group of these guys and they are two pop each but if you get a huge group of them and the front gets hit guys in the back might not be able to hit the front that's how bad their range really is um, I use swords and means on these guys also I prefer the infantry armor way over the critical hit um, I want these guys to take more damage than anything especially when critical is so low anyway and then I get the best of both worlds and get cavalry armor on this um, armor so if this unit gets hit by in infantry or cavalry it's got a little extra bonus now I can still take a good amount of damage to ragged but that's why I throw boots on them because I if I encounter a ragged unit I can at least get to them pretty quickly, and if they try to outrun me, you can catch them in uh, PvP. Now, the archers in this game I don't mess with, and the other ragged unit I just do not mess with whatsoever. There are certain units on every civilization that I just don't get into. Um, if I want to do ragged, I'll do the Celtic, or I'll do um, Greek. Uh, all my scouts are the same for the line of sight. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce this because I pronounced Celt last time and I got laughed at. So it is Celt with a K, not a C. Um, but I'm not going to try to pronounce this one. But I can send him also. Sorry. No. With this unit, I decided to go a little differently with a shield. All my shields and all my sieves are Rostam, but while I have the Cataphrat, he is a unit that I use with the Cataphrat. I never use him alone. Why? Why would you use him alone when you have such a stronger unit behind you? Um, so I want him to have more health so he can last longer but I didn't want to use the health shield in 9% because I still want him to be strong. So, I got the Spartan shield for just that reason. If it wasn't for that reason, I'd have a legendary armor on him now. And of course, this is the legend horse armor I use. I don't use the other one. I'd rather have ragged armor on my cavalry more than anything instead of, I believe the other one's cavalry armor. And of course, a good gauntlet. Um, as I said, don't use the uh, ragged units here. This horse is sadly, I messed with them a little bit in the beginning um, before I got to 40 and he is just useless. Just like the horse archer advisor, useless. Sadly, it, it just is what it is. Now Cataphrat, as I was going on before, best unit in the game for um, Persia, no if, ands, or buts. Now, there's a few things you can do with your, this unit. Okay, You're going to always try to get a good gauntlet on them. You don't want to get anything else besides the highest gauntlet that I have found. I'm not even going to try the cheaper ones to make them cheaper because you want this guy to pack a punch when he hits you and to take a lot of hits back. Now, of course, you know, same horse armor for, for great health. Um, and the Gilgamesh spear 
so, you know, I do have a chance at critical. I know I say I don't like critical, but when it comes down to the Gilgamesh spear and not that one. Let me find it. It's here somewhere. That one. There's only two DPS different. That's nothing. So I just stick with that one. Now this changes. I have changed this out. And sometimes yeah I use this one that's on a spear one too. Because the silver gorget is um gives you a huge, huge um extra DPS. I used to use this but I don't anymore. I actually can get rid of it. Yeah, right there in front of you. Um, because they nerfed that, and I used to keep it because it had 77% health. Now it's, well, garbage. Um, but if you really want to have critical hit fun, I guess you could say you could add that with the Gilgamesh. And it does stack. Um, a lot of things don't stack up and add up, but this is one of the things that does stack up. I'm starting to ramble on a little bit, so I'll try to finish this up so I don't bore you guys too much more. Now, the War Wagon, I have the new bow on there, plus the range arrows, plus the range armor, and stronger beams. The Paladins, I have, you know, Titan Arm, range armor, and beams. Um, the Ram Ship can be fun. One thing about the Ram ship is you want a legendary gear this out. Period. You want the Ram head. This is the right armor because the ships, the catapult ships, will kill you so easily. And you want this to have speed. People are going to say you should have the Hall of the Lavathon. They're full of it. I've tried it. I've gotten rid of it. And I have vendored it because it. you have to be right on top of them to hit them with this ship and it would just take too long to get to your target and take too many hits. I don't even use that unit, don't even know I have gear on them. Um, same as all the other civilizations that I have besides Iggy, which this has different gear, but the other three civilizations all use the same stuff. Ah, fishing ships, I'll just highlight it for you. Nothing spectacular. And this is the same on all my civilizations. Uh, transport speed gear. Of course, you gotta have the speed gear to keep these suckers moving quickly. Don't use that ship. And with all my buildings that you see here, all the cheaper walls, um, construction blueprints, um, I need some more of these. So if anybody's selling them, let me know. I will buy them because I still have some that are 5.4. Uh, my forts, pretty much same setup as everybody else's. Oh, you're seeing something a little different here. Let me go back to that first. Minute. Let me put that back on. This is my DPS for my forts. Yeah, get back down there. Okay. I always keep this on, but if you want line of sight fortresses that are just ginormous, you put this gear on plus the um fortified actually bugs out the game. You can't see max line of sight. It'll show it to you, but it won't reveal it. There sometimes it bugs it out. Um Rise arrows. There's better, of course. But that's one of the ones that I use. Plus um the now crap where'd everything go is it still there oh it's still on there handcrafted uh, wall braces and the other bow the new bow um it's i need to get another one because it's on my war wagon right now but that's what you use there when it comes to houses Sorry guys, I'm getting a little tired. It's late and I gotta be at work in a few hours, so I'm gonna try to hurry this up and finish it. Uh, cheaper walls and then faster build for your uh, lookouts. Line of sight. 
and the rest pretty self-explanatory as I said I need more 7.1s and my town center I make sure has an Aries and remember don't give damage but take damage again sorry if I'm sounding a little out of it it's been a long day and I need sleep so that finishes my uh, Persian Empire if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to hit me up on the forums you guys have a great night